our weekly story time for children ages 0 to 5 and their families. This summer, we're going to be learning all about animals. The summer reading theme this year is called Tales for Tales, and you can learn all about it on our website, www.danburylibrary.org slash tales. You can learn all about the fun programs and all about the books that you can read to learn about your favorite animal. Before we get started, can you help me sing our hello song? Get your hands out and let's wave. Are you ready? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Can you touch your nose? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your toes? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Can you pat your head? Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Can you clap your hands? Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Great job, everybody. This week, we're gonna be talking all about pets. Do you have a pet? I don't have a pet, but I was thinking about getting one. But what pet should I get? Maybe today's story can help me. It's called, What Pet Should I Get? by Dr. Seuss. Are you ready to listen? Look at all the pets. What Pet Should I Get? by Dr. Seuss. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Then what would you do? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They looked like good fun. Now which would we pick? We could only pick one. The cat or the dog, the kitten, the pup? Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. Make up your mind. It's hard to do. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back home by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said what pet we should get. But you know what Kay did? What did she do? Do you know what she did? She said fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. Oh no. Then I saw a new kind. And they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? What should he do? <gasps> pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said be home by noon. So make up your mind. 
The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun. But our house is so small, this thing on a string would bump, bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind, maybe, is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall, a tall pet who fits in the space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yet. Dad would like us to have a good yet. But how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet. You, how can you make up your mind what to get? But what if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No, Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. Oh no. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up my mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast and then that was that. The end. Which pet do you think he chose? Which one would you choose? Now let's sing a song about a farmer who adopted a pet named Bingo. In this song, we'll be spelling out Bingo's name. And then we'll be clapping out the letters. Are you ready to sing with me? There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name. -o. Now let's clap for the letter B. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. -o. I N G O I N G O I N-G-O and Bingo was his name -o. Can we clap for two letters now? There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name-o. N-G-O 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 and Bingo was his name-o. Ready to clap three letters? There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name O G O G O G O and Bingo was his name O Now it's time for four letters There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name O Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, now let's clap for all the letters. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, And Bingo was his name -o. Well, I have one more book for us to read before we make our craft. And it's a book about Pete the Cat. Are you ready to listen? Welcome to the wonderful world of reading. In this I Can Read story, Pete the Cat, Pete at the Beach. You will be going on a fun adventure. Are you ready to read? Here we go! It is a hot day. Pete the Cat goes
goes to the beach with his mom and his brother, Bob. Let's go in the water, Bob says. Maybe later, says Pete. Bob likes to surf. He rides the big waves. It looks like fun. I'm hot, says Pete. Go in the water, says Mom. Maybe later, says Pete. Pete makes a sandcastle. His mom helps him dig. Here comes a big wave, and there goes Pete. Oh no! Where did his sandcastle go? Bob rides a big wave. Wow, says Pete. That looks like fun. Pete and his mom take a walk. They find seashells. They see a crab. Pete's feet get wet. His feet feel cool. The rest of him is hot. It is time for lunch. Pete eats a sandwich. He drinks lemonade. The sun is very hot, and Pete is very, very hot. Bob is wet and cool. Let's play ball, says Pete. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. Pete throws the ball. His mom catches it. Let's get our feet wet, says Mom. Well, okay, says Pete. The water is cool. It feels good. Pete goes in deeper. Bob waves to Pete. I want to show you how to surf, he yells. Pete does not say maybe later. He says, "Let's do it." Lie on the board," says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle," says Bob. Pete paddles out. He waits for a big wave. A big wave is coming. Stand up," says Bob. Pete stands up. Then Pete falls down. It was scary, but it did not hurt. Try again later," says Bob. Pete wants to try again now. Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a wave. Pete stands up. This time he rides the wave. Good job," says Bob. Pete wants to surf all day. Bob does too, so they take turns. Pete and Bob rock and roll with the waves. What a great day! It is okay to be afraid, but it is more fun to surf. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story about Pete the Cat. Are you ready to make your very own Pete the Cat out of some shapes? Let's do it. To make Pete the Cat, we are going to need a lot of different shapes. We will need. A large blue rectangle, a large blue semicircle, one, two, three, four, five thin rectangles, one, two, three, four. Small red squares. One, two small triangles. Two small yellow circles, and two smaller black circles. You will also need a glue stick. Let's start with Pete's body. Take your large blue rectangle. And glue it to the middle of your paper. You can use any color paper you wish. I'm using yellow. Next, let's add Pete's head. Use your half circle and place it upside down, just like this, on top of the rectangle.
Now Pete needs some ears. So take your triangles and glue them on top of the half circle. Let's finish Pete's face. Take your yellow circles for his eyes. And we're gonna glue them just like this. And then take the black circles and glue them into the middle of the yellow circles. Pete needs a tail. Take one of your tall, thin blue rectangles and glue it to the other side of his body. Now let's add his legs. He'll have one, two, three, four legs and glue them on. My legs are a little bit longer than my paper, so I'm gonna use my scissors to trim them. Pete needs one last thing. He needs some shoes. We're going to glue the red squares to the bottom of his legs to give him some shoes. If you have a crayon, you can give Pete some whiskers and a nose. And there you have your very own Pete the Cat. Well, I hope you had fun today reading some stories about pets and singing some songs and making a craft. Don't forget to stop by the library to pick out some more books about pets. Join us next week when we talk about forest animals. But now it's time for us to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you all next week. Bye friends and don't forget